today we're going to be taking a look at the Roadmaster tow dolly with electric brakes, part number RM-2050-1. Using a tow dolly eliminates the need for installing a base plate, installing difficult wiring, or purchasing an expensive supplemental braking system. It's also great if you want to tow multiple vehicles. This tow dolly features electric brakes and it has a vehicle weight capacity of 4,250 pounds. The adjustable wheel nets fit a wide variety of tires. The ratcheting mechanism makes securing them easy. The deck tilts for easy loading and unloading. Simply pull out the pivot pin and the rams tilt to the ground. Our ramps are also adjustable in or out to the width of our vehicle. While in motion, the deck pivots for easy maneuvering around corners. Because it has electric brakes, it's going to make for safer stopping and it's going to reduce the wear and tear on your RV's brakes. It's fully wired for brake lights and turn signals. It even includes a license plate bracket. Here's our left turn signal. Right turn. Running lights. And brake lights. It also has two side marker lights. It's made out of a powder coated steel construction, so it's going to resist rust and corrosion. Our ramps and wheel cradles feature treads for better traction when loading and unloading. The usable width of our ramps at its narrowest position is 34 inches. The widest is at 77 inches. The overall length of the tow dolly is 121 inches. Its width from tire to tire is 102 inches. And our ramps are 16 and a half inches wide. The whole thing weighs 545 pounds. Due to the size of this item, it ships via freight. Two ST205-75R14 radial tires are included. The axles feature easy lube hubs with a grease circ. You can pass a lock through the coupler latch here to keep it secure, and when not in use, the coupler handle makes it easy maneuver. Now that we've gone over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it set up. First thing we need to do is make sure that our RV is parked on a level surface and that it's in line with our tow dolly. Then we need to be sure that our RV is in park with the emergency brake on. To hook up our tow dolly, we're going to be working with a two inch ball. You will have to provide your own and it needs to be between 18 and 20 inches from the ground up to the top. We've got 19 here. Let's go ahead and hook it up. We we'll want to make sure that our coupler is in the unlocked position. It's going to raise it up and set it in place. Once we've ensured it's all the way on, let's go ahead and lock it up. Now let's hook up our safety chains. We're going to crisscross the left and the right. So what that means is our right side is going to go and hook up to our left. And our left is going to go towards our right. Now let's connect our electric. The tow dolly does come with bare wires, so you'll have to provide your own connection. This is so you can match the connection to whatever your RV has. With our tow dolly secured to our RV, in preparation for loading up our vehicle, we'll need to pull out the pivot pin, which allows the ramps to drop down. So it's gonna be located right here. Pull out the clip and then the pin. You may have to put a little bit of weight on the platform to pull out that pin, and they should just drop right down. Now we're ready to pull up onto our tow dolly. If our towed vehicle has a rock guard, an air dam, or any other undercarriage components, we may have to remove them so we can pull up onto our ramps. Now let's go ahead and pull on. It's a good idea to get an extra set of eyes when doing so. Also, you may have to build up a little bit of momentum to get up the ramps. It could just make it a little bit easier. When you get into the cradles, you can stop. If it's a front wheel drive vehicle that you're towing, you can just put it in park and then you're all set. If it's a rear wheel drive vehicle, you'll need to check with your owner's manual to ensure that it can be towed so it doesn't damage your transmission. Now let's replace our pivot pin. With our vehicle in place, now we need to lock our steering column. If your vehicle is equipped with a steering column lock, that's great. You just need to make sure it's locked and then we're all set to go. If it's not equipped with one, you'll need to purchase a locking accessory. Now let's secure our vehicle to the tow dolly with our tie down straps. There is a right and a left side. You need to be sure you're working with the correct side. Now I'm holding it up with the center strap. We need to be sure that our hook is facing towards the rear of the vehicle. The center strap is going over the top of our tire 
So let's go ahead and set it in place. Let's secure our hook first. We've got three different options. We need to use the one closest to the center of the tire. Now we need to adjust our buckle. The side straps need to be at the nine o'clock and three o'clock position. As you can see, I'm a little bit tight here. I'm gonna loosen it up and straighten it up. That's about where we need to be. Lastly, we can run our ratchet strap. We need to make sure it's in the center of the tire. We'll take the strap. We're gonna go through our ratchet. I'm gonna adjust it to where it's center with the tire. I'm gonna pull it nice and tight. And then I'm gonna begin ratcheting it down. Once it's all ratcheted down, we can go ahead and tuck up any access that we may have and repeat the same process on the other side. With everything secured, we're ready to get on the road. Now, like when towing anything, it's not a bad idea to check your straps periodically when you make your stops. Here you see it being pulled behind an RV. The front tires are strapped down, securing the vehicle to the tow dolly, while the vehicle's rear tires are free to spin. The tow dolly provides a smooth ride, even around corners. Note how the platform pivots as the RV turns corners. And that's gonna complete our look at the Roadmaster tow dolly with electric brakes, part number RM, dash two zero five zero dash one. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.